Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Chloe, an online ESL tutor and content creator. For today's video, I will share the difference between portfolio and resume. Resumes and portfolios are both tools used in job applications, but they serve different purposes and contain distinct types of information. So I divided the differences between the resume and portfolio in four parts. First is the format. Resumes are typically concise and precise documents, usually limited to one or two pages. While portfolios are more extensive and flexible in terms of format, they can be physical, um, it's like a collection of printed materials or digital, like an online portfolio website. Um, it could be in PDF or multimedia presentations. Second is the context. Resumes provide the summary of your professional background, including your contact information, education, work experiences, skills, certifications, and relevant accomplishments. While portfolios showcase a range of your work, including your projects, samples, um, artifacts, and documents that demonstrates your skills, also achievements and abilities. They often include detailed explanation and context for each item. Third is the purpose. The primary purpose of resume is to present a quick snapshot of your qualifications to potential um, employers. It serves as a screening tool to determine if you meet the basic requirements for a job. Now, portfolios provide a comprehensive view of your capabilities and accomplishments. They are particularly useful for professions that involve creativity, visual work, or a need to demonstrate um, tangible results such as graphic designs, writing, teaching, or artistic fields. Number four, the last part is the use. Resumes are widely used in various industries and are the standard document for job applications. They are especially common in corporate, business, and administrative fields. But portfolios are commonly used in creative and specialized professions, including graphic designs, writing, teaching, photography, um, web development, and, and so on. They offer a deeper and more holistic understanding in your skills and achievements compared to a resume. Now, in summary, a resume is a brief standardized document that highlights key qualifications and is suitable for a wide range of job applications. Like for example, you just wanted to apply for any position that suits your ability that was written in your resume. So you're not very specific. A portfolio, on the other hand, is more extensive collection of work and artifacts that provides a comprehensive view of your abilities, making it particularly valuable in professions where showcasing your work is crucial. The choice between a resume and a portfolio depends on your field, the nature of the job, and the type of information you want to convey to potential employers. In some cases, applicants may use both a resume and a portfolio to provide a well-rounded view of their qualifications. Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Chloe, an online ESL tutor and content creator. For today's video, I will share the difference between portfolio and resume. Resumes and portfolios are both tools used in job applications, but they serve different purposes and contain distinct types of information. So I divided the differences between the resume and portfolio in four parts. First is the format. Resumes are typically concise and precise documents, usually limited to one or two pages. While portfolios are more extensive and flexible in terms of format, they can be physical, um, it's like a collection of printed materials or digital, like an online portfolio website, um, it could be in PDF or multimedia presentations. Second is the context. Resumes provide the summary of your professional background, including your contract information, education, work experiences, skills, certifications, and relevant accomplishments. While portfolios showcase a range of your work, including your projects, samples, um, artifacts, and documents that demonstrates your skills, also achievements and abilities. They often include detailed explanation and context for each item. Third is the purpose. The primary purpose of resume is to present a quick snapshot of your qualifications to potential um, employers. It serves as a screening tool to determine if you meet the basic requirements for a job. Now, portfolios provide a comprehensive view of your capabilities and accomplishments. They are particularly useful for professions that involve creativity, visual work, or a need to demonstrate um, tangible results such as graphic designs, writing, teaching, or artistic fields. Number four, the last part is the use. Resumes are widely used in various industries and are the standard document for job applications. They are especially common in corporate, business, and administrative fields. 
But portfolios are commonly used in creative and specialized professions, including graphic designs, writing, teaching, photography, um, web development, and, and so on. They offer a deeper and more holistic understanding in your skills and achievements compared to a resume. Now, in summary, a resume is a brief standardized document that highlights key qualifications and is suitable for a wide range of job applications. Like, for example, you just wanted to apply for any position that suits your ability that was written in your resume. So you're not very specific. A portfolio, on the other hand, is more extensive collection of work and art crafts that provides a comprehensive view of your abilities, making it particularly valuable in professions where showcasing your work is crucial. The choice between a resume and a portfolio depends on your field, the nature of the job, and the type of information you want to convey to potential employers. In some cases, applicants may use both a resume and a portfolio to provide a well-rounded view of their qualifications. Now I want to show you the website I use as my portfolio. So this is the website I'm talking about. It's the worky.net. As you can see on my link, it's myworky.net slash t-shirt Chloe B. It looks very professional if your name or your company name is included in the website. Now, this is the link that I usually give to my students. So once I give this link to my students, they will be directed onto this page. This page stands as my portfolio. So my title here is English Tutor. Okay, so as you can see my name here, my screen name is t-shirt Chloe B. And I am a language tutor. Okay, so I have my photo here. So make sure to put the best photo that you have to, you know, attract students. So the introduction I put here is about the service that I offer. Since the service I offer is the English uh, language tutoring, um, the introduction I made here is about learning the English language. Okay, and then they will see uh, two buttons here. Ask me a question and book me. So ask me a question button. Once they click this, they are just going to input their name and email address, and then students can write questions to you. After they click the send button, you will receive an email with uh, the student's uh, message, questions, or inquiries. Next is the book me button. If the students will click this, they will be directed onto this kind of page. So they will see your one-time sessions here. So mine, I have two. Um, IELTS class for 25 minutes. That is 25 US dollar as well. And the free level test. This one is just a short conversation to check the student's level. This is for free and uh, only for 15 minutes. Okay, so they just need to click on that and then input uh, the date, choose the date and time, and then input their details down below here. And then after they click um, send button, you will receive an email that someone booked your schedule. And when you scroll down, you will see the list of your um, social media and contact details here okay so this one the send email uh, when they click this they can automatically send an email to you all the social media links here are working let me show you so you know this one this is the TikTok. okay youtube there facebook page okay telegram and instagram all right, so not only your students can see your information here on Worky Portfolio, they will also see your social media accounts. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see another part of the teacher's information, which is the about me. Now, this time, you are going to uh, write down here all the information about yourself. You'll see the services you offer, accomplishments, and anything, all of your experiences. So you can also put um, another uh, picture of yourself here. All right, and then scroll down, you'll see my jobs and services. So I have two here, which is the IELTS review for 20 classes, and that's for 500 USD. Another one is the level test or the demo class for free. That's 25 minutes. Okay, so once the student click this, for example, they will be directed onto this page. So it's where they will see the detail of uh, the 20 IELTS class. So for example, here's the detail of mine. And then just input their details and click confirm, and then uh, you will also receive an email that someone bought your class. Okay, now scroll down. You'll see the skills part here. So might I actually change the skills title here? You can also change it. So what I use here is strong communication skills, patience, flexibility, creativity, and students' feedback. All right, and the bottom part of your website is more contact details about you. So whenever my students ask for my resume or portfolio, they want to see my uh, background, my information, this is just what I give them. I only give them my 
worky link and then they will be directed onto this page. So it's very convenient. They can see your information, your details, your experience tests, your courses offered, your social media accounts, especially if you're active to your social media accounts. And also they will see your pictures. They will see your, um, what the teacher looks like, okay? Or what you look like, like that. And all of your services offered, okay? Everything will be here. So this serves as my portfolio whenever my students are asking for what? Create your own portfolio now with Worky. I'll put the link together with this video. Plus, you can get a free one-month subscription to their Worky Pro plan if you use my special code. That's it for today's video. Please don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, and share this video to others. See you next time.